If you wake up feeling exhausted, you're not alone. According to a recent survey, over 50% of workers experience burnout, a state of chronic exhaustion characterized by physical and emotional symptoms. If you want to exit this era where you wake up feeling physically exhausted, emotionally drained, and mentally demotivated, to start a new chapter of your life where you wake up feeling energized, excited about your day and motivated to complete your tasks, then this video is for you. The goal of this video is to help you define small specific habits that you can incorporate into your daily routine to go from feeling exhausted to feeling energized. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk about feeling constantly tired. I feel like so many people these days are always tired. Feeling exhausted negatively impacts all areas of your life, including your performance at work, the quality of your relationships, and your physical and mental health. We'll explore the three main causes of exhaustion and create a practical, realistic, and actionable plan to actually solve it. Get ready to end this negative cycle where you feel more and more exhausted with each passing day and enter a positive positive cycle where you feel more energized every single day. If you're new here, my name is Mari, I'm a doctor turned entrepreneur. In this channel, I share videos to help you live a healthier, happier and more fulfilling life by spending your time and energy more intentionally. Subscribe to the channel if you want to become part of this amazing community of driven people and get inspired to continue taking action to create your dream life. Life. If you want my personal help to establish positive habits that will help you feel more and more energized every single day, make sure to check out the first link in the description below. The first thing you need to realize is that if you wake up feeling exhausted, it means that the habits you have now in your life are making you feel that way. And as long as you keep those habits, things will only get worse. If you want things to get better, you need to establish positive habits. I want to invite you to commit to establishing small positive habits into your daily routine. To help you stay motivated and accountable, I created a 50-day habit tracker that you can download for free using the link in the description below. Don't miss this opportunity because I'm sure in just 50 days you can absolutely transform the way that you feel. As James Clear says, Habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. It is only when looking back that the value of good habits and the cost of bad ones become strikingly apparent. Positive habits are like good investments that pay you interest. On the other hand, negative habits are like bad debts, which charge you interest. Just like bad debts grow and make it harder to repay, negative habits make it harder for you to achieve your goals and consume your life. And the impact of these small habits on any given day may seem very marginal. However, over a long enough period of time, months or years, they make an enormous difference. I want to encourage you to incorporate positive habits in your daily routine because they will compound over time, resulting in a big transformation in the way that you feel. Without further ado, let's dive into the three main root causes of burnout and discover how we can address them. The first root cause of exhaustion is physiological. Physiology is just a fancy word for the way that your body functions. And there are three main things we are going to cover here. How you rest in your body, how you feel your body, and how you move your body. First and foremost is sleep, because if you're not resting well, you definitely won't feel recharged and energize the next day. And obviously, the quantity of sleep is really important. However, 
the quality and the consistency of your sleep also have a huge influence in how you feel. Sleep directly affects your cognitive function and emotional regulation, which basically impacts all areas of your life. Improving your sleep will help you improve your attention, memory and mood. To improve the quantity of sleep, make sure to have a consistent bedtime and wake-up time and ensure that you get from 7 to 9 hours of sleep every single day. To improve the quality of your sleep, do your sleep hygiene, which basically is to stop eating 3 hours before bed, avoid drinking 2 hours before bed, and avoid screens 1 hour before bed. During this 1 hour before bed, try doing some wind down activities like reading, meditating, doing breath work, and avoid screens as much as you can. I know a lot of people use TV or their phone to wind down and relax before going to sleep, but in reality that is overstimulating your brain, making it much harder for you to fall asleep. Excessive use of TV and social media, especially before bed, is associated with increased anxiety, stress, and sleep issues. If there is only one thing to take away from this video is to avoid using screens one hour before bed. I usually leave my phone outside of my bedroom and use this last hour to read and do meditation. And I couldn't recommend it more. There are some supplements that you can take to improve the quality of your sleep, like magnesium and L-theanine. You can also drink chamomile tea and use lavender essential oils. In terms of how you're feeling your body, have a look at your current diet and make sure you are drinking a lot of water and be mindful of your caffeine and alcohol consumption as both of them disrupt sleep. The timing of your meals is particularly important here. Avoid having high sugar and high fat meals three hours before bed. And this is something that I have personally noticed as well. Whenever I have my dinner too close to bedtime, it takes me longer to fall asleep and my sleep quality isn't nearly as good. Because I aim to go to sleep at 11, after 8 p.m. I avoid eating as much as I can. I just tell myself that I can eat whatever I want in the morning, but now I need to wind down for bed. And the final physiological reason for exhaustion is the lack of exercise. And people are always telling me that I have so much energy and what I tell them is that the reason why I have a lot of energy is because I spend a lot of energy. It does sound counterintuitive, but it is so true. And the science shows the association between physical activity and sleep quality. Studies have found that moderate physical activity helps you sleep faster, longer and better. That is because physical activity promotes the release of endorphins, which lowers stress and anxiety. If you have trouble falling asleep because your mind is running, definitely try incorporating more physical activity into your daily routine. Physical activity releases serotonin and norepinephrine, which are hormones that regulate our mood and our cognitive function. If you generally have a negative outlook on life, you don't have much patience and you have trouble focusing, definitely increasing your physical activity will help you a lot because it will release all these feel-good hormones into your bloodstream. The second root cause of exhaustion is psychological, everything that goes on in your mind. And the first thing we want to look at is how we're resting our brain. And in reality, nowadays, we tend to never really rest our brains. It's so common nowadays that people use screens to relax, however, screens are hyper-stimulating for the brain. I was doing some research on the topic and I found out that the most stimulating screen-based activity is actually video games and then social media. If you feel mentally exhausted, it is so important that you limit your screen time, especially video games, 
social media and the news. You can opt to use the screens in a way that stimulates your brain a little less, for example using YouTube videos or educational content like online courses and workshops. These are great options to replace social media and video games. And even better if you can replace your screen time with non-screen based activities, you can try reading, meditating or doing something creative like drawing, painting, or journaling. The second psychological reason for why you're feeling exhausted is the content you have been consuming. The content that you feel your mind has a, such a huge influence in your thoughts and the way that you feel. It is so important to avoid negative content. And the main negative sources of negative content these days can be your digital devices, through the news and social media, and also in your social environment, when people are gossiping, they're criticizing and they're complaining about different things. You try to avoid consuming negative content as much as you can, because this information deeply affects the way that you feel. This negative content not only drains your energy, but also makes you feel more stressed and anxious. We can't consume two things at once, so be very intentional with the content that you consume. Make sure to replace the negative content with positive content. Choose to consume inspirational, happy content that is going to motivate you to take action and do the things you want to do. Anything that makes you feel inspired, motivated and happy in general. Finally, the third psychological reason you feel exhausted is how you use your mind. So if your mind is thinking and talking a lot of negative things, can you see how that creates unnecessary stress and anxiety in your life? And this is a very simple thing to understand, but it is not easy to change. First, you start recognizing that you can choose your thoughts. However, you can choose what you want to think as well. One thing we need to recognize is that there are two types of thoughts. The involuntary thoughts, they just come to our head the moment we realize we're already thinking that. But there are also voluntary thoughts where we actually choose what to think. So we really need to learn how to exercise that power to take control of our minds. One very simple exercise that I do to control my negative thinking is whenever I have an involuntary negative thought, I intentionally and voluntarily think two other positive thoughts. And that is a very practical way to train your mind to think thoughts that make you happy and satisfied about your life, instead of thoughts that make you feel stressed and anxious. Other ways to improve your thoughts is to practice journaling, especially gratitude journaling. Gratitude journaling forces you to think about the positive things, the things that you're grateful for. The best way to improve your self-talk is to practice affirmations, especially if you have been surrounded by negative people for a very long time. You almost need to train yourself and to teach yourself how to speak positively. And this is where affirmations are very helpful. It's a bit hard for me to put into words how important our thoughts are. There's this quote by Gandhi that I absolutely love. It says, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. We need to take very seriously the thoughts that we have because ultimately they create our reality. If you don't take control and carefully and consciously choose your thoughts, that means you're going to continue living an unconscious life. Being an adult is being the cause and the solution to all your problems. And as long as you don't recognize that for truth, 
you're going to unconsciously live your life. The third final reason why you feel exhausted is due to your physical environment. And these are potentially the easiest ones to address and they have a huge influence in how we feel. So stick with me for the three final things you can do to improve your energy levels. First, let's look at the environment where you're resting. At night, try to make your bedroom as cold and dark as possible. You can open your windows or use an air conditioning depending on where you're living. And to make it darker, you can use blackout curtains or a sleep mask. And in the morning, you want to go out and get some fresh air and sunlight into your eyes as early as possible. Especially in the first 30 minutes of waking, going outside is going to boost your energy. And the third physical reason why you feel exhausted is not as obvious as you think. This is about the mental fatigue that is caused by a cluttered and disorganized space. I want you to take a step back and pretend you're a different person walking into somebody else's room or house. Have a look around and see how you feel in that space. Does it feel calm or does it feel chaotic? I believe that each object that we can see at any time occupies space in our minds as well. So having a lot of things around makes your thinking very cluttered and chaotic. There are many things we can't control in life, but in general, we can control what's in our environment. I invite you to exercise the control that you have over the things that are in your environment. Consciously and carefully choose what you want to see. As a rule of thumb, I only leave things out if they are decorating the environment. Everything else goes into drawers, wardrobes and cupboards. And I find that having a clear space really helps me have a clear mind. If you made it this far into this video, it means you are committed to go from feeling exhausted to feeling energized. When I was doing my research around exhaustion, I found this study where 35% of people said they were too tired to do something about their tiredness. To me, this is an indication that they are stuck in a negative vicious cycle. Because they want a huge transformation in their lives, they think they need to take a huge step and because they don't have the energy to take that huge step they keep stuck in this cycle what they don't realize is that to make a huge positive change in their lives they don't need to take a huge positive step what they actually need to do is to take small positive steps for a long enough period of time because these small steps they compound over time creating the huge positive transformation that they so badly want. So the basic principle here is that by taking a small positive step today, tomorrow you will have that little bit more energy that is necessary for you to take another small step. I know this may all sound very abstract, so here is a very simple example. Let's say tonight you decide to go to bed a little earlier so you get better sleep and then tomorrow you feel like you have a little bit more energy in the morning and you choose to go for for a walk, which makes you feel energized, so you have more energy to make better choices around the food that you eat, because you eat better, you're going to sleep better, and so on. This is how you create positive momentum, where every single day you feel more and more energized. If you're still watching, it means you're getting value from this video, so consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this, and comment below which of these three reasons you think are draining your energy. If you want to reduce your screen time on your phone, I suggest that you watch this video next. I hope to see you there. Bye!